Hey guys, it's Hey Baby here, and we're back with more Broken Age. Where we last left off, we were just coming up onto this tree here. Um, I don't think he can talk though. I can't really hear him. He has no mouth. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. Can we make a mouth? I have a feeling I might regret this. <laughs> Axe wheeling psychopath right here! Shh, shh, shh. Whoa, you wake up the other chill trees! Out. She's got an axe! Run! She's a murderer! <laughs> okay, look. Run? I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? I don't Just think you can run anywhere. Screaming, please! Ow! My trunk! I'm losing sap! Murderer! Come on, Bella, don't throw axes all willy nilly like that. You're gonna hurt someone. You already did, so. Learn your lesson. <laughs> Please don't scream anymore. You can't silence me. I'm going to wake up this whole forest. Hmm. I'm here on behalf of Curtis, the lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce mining her own branches. Then he comes along. And the next time I see her, she's a... Oh god, if I say it, I think I might be sick. Say it. What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He... He butchered her! Turned her into a... A stool! Oh god. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Ew. Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren! It makes me sick! Hmm. Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchatra? Is that all you humans think about? Yes. Killing? You all make yes. me want to puke. You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, you are. Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up, but I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. Alright, jeez. I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding, murderous humans, so get lost. I'll let you get back to wow. your screaming. You are yeah, so rude. Please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump. All right, bye, asshole. Hello, Shellmound. Whoa, Looks like okay. Mount Chathra hasn't gotten here yet. Shellmound looks pretty cool. Yeah, Clarence. Watch out for the crosswind. Let's talk to this guy. He must be in charge here. Good. Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say that? Hmm. Is this a trick question? No. Let's just call it an exploratory survey, that's all. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people, for now. So, you're running for mayor of Shellmound? My hopes and dreams, just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child. Oh, that's this deep. This construction debacle under my marshalship has washed them all away. Hmm. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? I like it. It looks great on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But... I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this away from me. Oh, thank, thank you, you, child. I'm firing my stylist tomorrow. Huh. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> not that you have the right scent for it anyway. Wow. Bitch. 
Are you saying I smell bad? No, heavens no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds. With a hint of fresh pine. Ooh, and a dangerous undernote of snake, I believe. Very nice. But that's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. That's impressive that he could smell me that well. Or maybe it's creepy? A little bit of both? No, no. Did you say there might not be a maiden's feast? The sea? She is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away. Hmm. I see. When is Mark Chakra supposed to get here? Any minute! So much to do! Hmm. There has to be a Maiden's Feast. I need to kill Mog Chathra. Yes, yes, we all want to fill Mog Chathra. But I when said he kill. comes here and sees no offering arena, he might pass us by. Or worse. Why do you build the offering arena so close to the ocean? Uh, because that's where the sand is. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Right, okay. That's enough of this guy. What else can I do around here? What is this? Oh, driftwood. So Wood? smooth. Oh, can I take this back to Curtis? Can you make me something? Okay. What is this? Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I just hope my baking town is still standing. Can I get some of this? As much as I would like some chum, I don't think it's smart to carry it around in an open container with those gulls around. All right, well, I guess we can't get any chum. Hi, you maidens getting ready for the maidens' feast? Wow. No response, really? Fine. I want to be in the maidens' feast. Of course you do, poor thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes, just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. <laughs> hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Mogs. Beast hooker. Okay, can I have some? Hey, can I have some of your beast hooker? That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. <laughs> just one little squirt. Come on, give me one squirt. How about just one little squirt? Sorry. If I'm not going to give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not going to give any to you. I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. <laughs> nice <Okay>. costumes. <laughs> Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Isn't somebody gonna miss those hooks? Not as much as they're gonna miss us. You're gonna make me cry, girl. Hmm. You maidens nervous? Yeah, nervous that Marshall Dune isn't gonna get the offering arena ready before Mog Chakra gets here. Oh, I can't believe our dad's donated so much to his campaign. Hmm. Hey, maidens, Interesting. I'm going to kill Mog Chakra. Huh. Not half as hard as I'm gonna kill it. I'm already killing it in this outfit, just standing here. I don't think you understand what I mean. <laughs> don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? To save the town, I mean. Um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. See you maidens later. Ciao! So they don't think much. That's interesting to know. Alright, um, 
Well, we did get a piece of wood, so let's go back and give it to Curtis, because maybe he can do something with it? I don't know. Alright, so we're back at Curtis's house. Uh, let's give him this piece of driftwood to see if he can do anything with it. Check it out! Non-talking wood! Oh, and it's so smooth! Oh, man! I feel a stool coming on. What? Oh, um... Whew, that's a relief. Tell me about it. I feel <laughs> ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I like <laughs> really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. Oh my god, the phrasing in this game. That is so funny. <laughs> Alright, you got anything else to say, Curtis? Hi. Hey, Bella. Hey, about this art. Yeah? Can I have it? No way, man. That thing's vintage. What is it? Well, you know. It's abstract. <laughs> it's kind of a tone poem, really. Uh huh. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. Right, so. Can I have it? <laughs> Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be if I had such a superficial understanding of the work. <laughs> How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? Okay, I man. I had it there ironically, but I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. Mind games. Give me that. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. See you later, Curtis. Alright, so we're back in Shell Mound. We have a couple more items in our inventory. We got this really cool stool that Curtis made, and also this weird piece of art that I'm sure has something to do with something later on. Anyway, um, I think that's a pretty good place to stop the video here. Uh, we'll be back with more Broken Age, of course. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, stay swell. Can you hold me up? Woo! So hold me up.